Hello there. Thanks for being here. I'm really glad to see you here at Paytipan Vlogs. And today's video is gonna be a very special video. This is all about money, why we don't have the money, how to make money, and uh, how is the money important, and what attracts the money, and why are you not attracting money. All these small things and details we will discuss in this video. Without wasting any minutes, let's get to it. So today's video, I named it Money Secrets. Why Money Secrets? Because if you really pay attention to the financial systems of this world, there are so many secrets attached to it and average people don't have any access to those secrets. Why not? Because the money is a principle. There are so many principles attached to the money. Unless they're in place, you're not going to be even at the doorsteps to making money. See, one thing I always uh, tell people whenever somebody asks me the question, so what is the secret to make money and how you can make money fast and stuff like that. I always tell them, I said, money is like a sack of grains, like seeds that you sow somewhere. And at the time the crops come up and there'll be so many more seeds provided by the sack of seeds. And then you can fill up so many sacks and uh, the growth will happen. And over the time period, you will have so many seeds and sacks full of seeds. So money is the same concept. It's all about investing money. The money that is invested, chances are, is gonna provide and produce new results and higher levels of success and achievement and more money coming to your accounts. See, in my understanding, uh, we are sort of like victims of syst systematic failures because starting from our schools and colleges and business schools and all those classes and continuing education to business and financial, we are all taught about corporate America, how to get a job, how to keep the job, how to be loyal to the companies, how we can do this and how we can do that. All these things are great. I'm not saying nobody should go to work for corporate America or big companies or big finance companies. You do what you like to do. But this is just completely my understanding that people are kept from the real ideas and real approach to the money that can really bring people to righteousness. What do I see? A family, a wife, husband, relationship, few bills, a household, car or maybe a couple of goodies that's how it is so mostly we are trained in the system that if we can create enough to support our social needs we are fine so the systematic failure that i talk about pretty much confines people into those uh, systematic and social needs i always think you know investing your money in some shape size and color is the greatest idea and money will produce the money over the time period that's why i am in pawn business so here's the sad thing normally nobody's taught about the principles of money we're just taught about the habits of money how to spend how to buy this how to buy that or how we can make more money by getting the promotions and changing the companies and uh, reducing the needs and stuff like that. Is that the lifestyle? No, to me it's not. Lifestyle is the freedom to do things, not necessarily buy everything in your path, but a freedom. Hey, you wanna take a vacation? Go take a vacation. You wanna buy a new car? Go buy a new car. You wanna buy some clothes that you never had before? Go buy them. You wanna buy a dream home or beach home? Go buy that. These are the freedoms that money will get you. But rightfully, if you're not investing your money, you will never have the money. So here are like five different ways that might help you to understand uh, what's wrong with your financial system, the personal financial system, and how you can improve that. So watch this next couple things. 
So number one thing that I'm going to talk about is salary. Salary means you work for a company, you work for a guy, you work for a corporation. Anywhere you work, you're going to have a salary. And salary means that's going to be paid every 15 days or 30 days, whatever the configuration is with the company and however you like it. But what's wrong with the salary is you can only climb so much and there is always a glass ceiling and you hit that head and you bounce back that but salary will keep you in there but in my opinion if you're on a salary you will never ever get to the riches and righteousness because this is not an investment this is investment of your abilities to a company if you're on a salary think twice and start thinking you know how you can become an investor in some shape or size and once you become an investor then uh, after a short while you will see the wheel is spinning for you and this time this is going to be all about you number two take advantage of time not timing what i mean by that is the time the right time will never be here in your life the time you decide and take action that's the right time and mostly we keep looking for the timing okay we're gonna do it next year we're gonna do next month next week next year next five years whatever we can decide yes no maybe so but my idea of things is once you have decided to invest or have a business or open a business and buy a franchise or whatever the model that you create the time is now so you have to take that action do whatever it takes to take that action and don't wait for that timing the perfect timing will never be here your ship will never come to you you have to go to your ship see one of my terrible time was when i was really trying to figure out my life and what i was really thinking hard how i can invest and what business i can so from that I came to the point and that was a very solid point in my life and turning point to that document put everything in writing okay that's my number three on this list put everything in writing whatever is important to you why money is making important to you what what kind of money you want to make what kinds of business you want to get obviously we talk about pawn business so you want to do the pawn business but you have to think about it how size is going to be the determinant and what size of the business you're going to have who's going to be your clients all this need to be documented and written down in text so you can look at it and think about it and to make a plan of action so putting things in writing is very important that's going to really put you in touch with your subconscious mind and intellectual and that's very important before you take any any steps number four understand value over cost what i mean by that is many times when we talk about some risk taking you know anytime you invest you're going to be taking some risks so before risk taking you gotta be smart enough to take calculated risks not like dive head down so what i mean by that is many times people get scared of investment which is a cost oh i'm gonna start this business but it's gonna cost me this and cost me that and cost me that and cost me that so oh my god it's so much money that's gonna cost me and in that time people forget and that was my own experience you know i will forget completely about the value that i can create by my investment over the time period i will forget about that because cost factor cost factor will just take it over completely and that will just take over my plan so i came up with this understanding that understanding the value of your idea and business and investment that's super super important you know that's the most important thing cost is something that is going to cost you it's costing you now as a worker as a as an employee it's costing your time your money your effort your gas everything so once you take that step that you never took before as your own business journey that cost should be in the place and it will be in the place and it will cost you 
but it should not overtake your idea and value of your idea and value of your investment. That point is very, very crucial to understand. Number five, eat out less. I say eat out less. Why? See, back in, back in the day, about 15, 20 years ago, when I was thinking about a pawn business, me and my wife, we will just go out every night and eat this and eat that and that and that. And when I started thinking about opening a business, you know, I started really calculating on my expenses. And did you know that eating out cost us more than anything else? So we stopped eating outside we did not go outside at all you know it was a mutual decision between my wife and i we decided that there's so much money is going into that so we're going to just stop doing that and save that money for my investment try that and you'll be amazed how much time you save by not going out and how much money you save all the way around and don't just think and sit over there and think say oh he's just talking about eating out you know eating out to me was a point that really I had to understand. Hopefully you understand that too. Here's a bonus point after those five areas that I talked briefly. The bonus point is we as human beings, we all have habits. Some of them we develop, some of them they're peer pressure, some of them they just come to us, some of them they just happen to us. But all those habits and addictions they cost you your life, your time, your money, your ideas, your investment, your relationships. So what I would say is before you take any business journey, control your habits. It can be drinking, smoking, too much friendships, too many friends. All these habits, they have to be put into a bucket for once in forever. Because these habits do cost you money, time, reputation, and everything. One of the things I learned in business is, as a businessman, you got to have a great credit, great reputation with the banks, great reputation with the people and your investors. You got to be great with them. And having those habits, I don't think you will ever make it because these habits will keep you and they mess with your sanity and abilities. So that's why I say, you know what, all these addictions and habits, put them to sleep. So the final thoughts and recapping sentences on this uh, idea that I was presenting you, all those four, four or five points that I discussed with you. The idea is money is the byproduct of your ideas. Money is created by investments. Money is created by savings. Money is created by investing into the right commodities. So all these small little points have to be understood. Spending money is never a money-making idea. So money-making secrets are that there is no secrets. There are no secrets. These are just the principles and habits and refined intentions and calculated decisions and risks and investments. All that is, and that's what defines your destinies and achievements and successes. Thanks for watching today. If you like it, please comment, share with the friends, and subscribe the channel so you can get the new videos. And I will be doing new videos every week, at least twice a week. And if you subscribe, it's going to be coming at you in your mailbox. Until then, thank you so much. Till next time.